So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we're going to be looking at 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's up for the week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. That also does help a lot. Other than that, we're going to be looking at... Uh, so I should just show you because the fit for the video, there is no fit uh, because I got the armor for the uh, Solstice event, all of it. I will explain further in a separate video and a little bit in this video, but <clears throat> yeah, the review video is going to be up later. So stay tuned to the end or just wait until I make that video because I will be explaining why I won't be making the review video right now or this week, I guess you would say. So New Age Black Armory. This is a dope shader. I definitely recommend this shader just because it is really, really good. Let me do something real quick because I just realized. So I will be switching this one. Let's do let's do this one. Just because if I stick with the sublime set, you guys won't even see the glows or anything like that. So let me let's go back to New Age Black Armory. <clears throat> so yeah, New Blake New New Age Black Armory is a dope shader. It's one of my favorite shaders from Season of the Forge, just because it's a good black and red, but the like almost green black is so good and the glow is pretty good as well uh we have the mad monk which i always recommend people to pick up because it is a really good black as you guys can see from the cloak this is a shader that i would always put on my cloaks or my marks just because it gives you that really good black and then we have war cult endgame which yeah it looks really good i really like this shader it's a really good white and blue so as for the armor sets all right here it's all the old armor sets so this is from like vanilla destiny 2 which is really really old that being said uh i think the hunters have like a really good helmet and chest piece the arms i can definitely see people utilizing i think the the cloak and the boots are the worst pieces from the whole set titans i'm gonna be honest i'm not the biggest fan of yours just because out of all of the armor sets that you guys have I think they chose the most boring one and it's funny because the 10 year anniversary event that's coming up they chose like a similar armor set which is very disappointing because you guys have a lot of cool armor sets from d2 like specifically there's one chest piece that has like fur and it's like one of my favorite pieces i've been thinking about going back to d1 and just making some fashion with that because d1 fashion was a bit different just because we couldn't change the shaders for each piece it was just all one shader and the armor set i don't know I'm, I'm thinking about going back just because it would be it'll be fun to go back and do that but yeah uh warlocks i think the helmet and the chest piece are the best pieces the boots and the arms are cool as well it's just more on the boring side and the bond is also kind of on the boring side so i definitely think the helmet and the chest piece are the best pieces so let me know what you guys think about ada as for banshee we have the number with pulse monitor and unrelenting we have the nature of the beast with snapshot sites and demo Brass Attacks with Threat Detector and Wellspring, Widow's Bite with Lead from Gold and Disruption Break, and then Falling Guillotine with Relentless Strikes and Whirlwind Blade. So I definitely would recommend the Falling Guillotine just because it's a really good weapon. Well, I mean, I should say it used to be really good. I don't know how it is now, but if swords ever get a buff, I definitely would recommend you guys to pick it up just because uh, Relentless Strikes with Whirlwind is such a good combo and it does have Jack. Oh, it doesn't have Jagged Blade it's still a good weapon and it's not going to be like jagged blade is the one you want because that's like the cod roll but even still like these two are still good so i would still recommend it as for Zer, he is selling the mita multi-tool catalyst which just gives you aiming this weapon for a short period reduces flinch which i think is trash lumina catalyst which gain two remnants per final blow instead of one which is really good we have mechaneer's trick sleeve uh, decent rolls Heart of Inmost Light, too much mobility, too much mobility for some bracers as well. So for the other stuff, we are looking at Hawkmoon with Hip Fire Grip, Huckleberry, which is a really fun weapon, and I think it still retains the old Rampage numbers, if I remember correctly. Lord of Wolves, which, man, I can't even tell you how many times this gun was broken. I still have footage from that era of, like, just destroying people with this because it was just busted. Um, and then Thunderlord. <clears throat> For the weapons, we have Cold Denial with Pulse Monitor and Unrelenting. Extraordinary Rendition with Familiar Planted and One For All. Hollow Words with Killing Wind and Backup Plan. Um, okay, I'm, I'm most interested because Killing Wind, it, it only increase your weapon's range. I wonder if it impacts fusions. I, th I know range impacts fusions, but I don't know. I'm, maybe i'm interested <clears throat> uh 
Cartesian coordinate with feeding frenzy and snapshot sights. Steel Sybil Z14 with tireless, tireless blade and assassin's blade. Temptations hook with relentless strikes and whirlwind blade. And then quick fame. Um, I wouldn't recommend temptations hook just because it's a caster frame. So your heavy attacks will, I don't know. I, I just wouldn't recommend it personally. And then for the armor, we have the abhorrent imperative armor set. If I remember correctly, well, actually, while you're looking at the armor, let me go to collections real quick because I don't think it's that called that. Oh no, it is. Okay, I was right. So <clears throat> hunters, I I want to like this armor. It looks really cool as a whole, but as a, when it comes to pieces, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Helmet, um, for some reason, feels like it's too low on the face, um, especially when you look at it just the helmet itself. The arms, chest piece, and boots are really cool. I actually really like the chest piece a lot because as much as I hate that the wire, like the yellow wiring doesn't change color, you can definitely make it work with other pieces that have yellow wiring, which unfortunately there's a few pieces. Um, and then the cloak, I think is unique, which is cool, but unfortunately looks really bad with other armor sets. And honestly, I don't really like the cowl a lot, but that's just me personally. Titans, <clears throat> I love the helmet arms and chess piece and i would say chess piece in that sense because it's it's cool it i don't think it's as good as the arms or the helmet i think those two are just singular like that really good chess piece is like right at the bottom of both of those like they're it's good you can definitely use it i'm not the fan of the the legs just because everything has that like metallic look and then you go to the your feet and it's just boots and i just don't like that at all they could have definitely given you some armor on the boots and then the mark is more on the boring side if i'm being honest warlocks i don't really like any of it i've never really liked any of it i think the helmet looks a little weird especially too thin the arms are a little too thick and the chest piece i think is the only good piece and i mean i say that very sparingly because it's like not amazing it's just like it's better than everything else uh, boots look boring and then the bond also looks boring so i definitely would recommend it just so that way you guys can get the armor because you might never know when the armor looks really cool with her certain set or whatever but let me show you guys the rep and roll or the armor roll so that way you guys are aware As for Eververse, we have Oiled Algae, or Algae, whatever. Uh, vintage Timber. I like this one a lot. This one's my favorite. Black Gold looks really cool. Uh, Summertide Kite. Emote Juggle, or Moat Juggle, I should say. <clears throat> then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Sudden Squall. For what is this gun called? Sturm, finned shell, hovering lannin. Unfortunately, uh, does not change color. We have mid midway goer, which is a really cool sparrow because all the glows are actually correct, which is you never really see that a lot. Um, countdown. <coughs> <coughs> We have Getting Shade. And then for the transmit effects, we have Cabal Shield Breaker. Shocking Entrance. Beach Ball Effects. And then for the other shaders, Refined Revels, which is a dope shader. Definitely pick up this shader. We have Regal Daring, which is another really good shader. And then Grand Luster, which is again, another great shader. Definitely pick these shaders up. I will most likely be doing a video on Monday just for the shaders because these two, these three are so, so good. And then Oiled Algae, which we already saw at the top. So definitely pick these three up because they're only available during Solstice, which is unfortunate because I think these shaders are amazing. But that's pretty much it. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, I will see you guys later. For those of you who are interested, though, for future content and what I'm currently working on, stay tuned because I have a, I have a lot of things to say. So first and foremost, <clears throat> I have not given up on Destiny 2. Um, for those of you who are wondering, I'm currently just 
I was working on getting all of this armor for all the classes. Thankfully, I got all of the armor with the glow. Thankfully, Bungie did say that, um, let me see, I don't have it up. Do I have it up? No, I don't. So Bungie did say that they will put out an update where you can get the armor base look and with the white glow. So that is really cool. Thankfully, we will be getting that because I was hoping we would because this armor is really good for all the classes. Like I'm just going to be upfront with y'all. I think each class got some dope pieces. So for sure, like Hunters, I think damn near all of it is amazing. Titans, <clears throat> I want to say damn near all of it is amazing as well. Warlocks, this is where I get, I'm, I'm kind of like mad because I think the helmet is goofy. This is super, super goofy. Like, I think it's terrible. So Warlocks, you guys definitely lost out on that one. But the arms, boots, chest piece, even the bonters to an extent, I think all of it is amazing. So... Yeah, I'm really excited to review this armor because I genuinely really like it for all of the classes and I'm really excited to do it. The thing that I'm thinking about is whether I should review this armor without the white glow or not. Like, should I just wait for the both armor sets to come out so that way I can get with the glow and without the glow? <clears throat> or should I just review it now so that way more people can get eyes on it? Because again, I think this armor is amazing. It's just the fact that they will see it with just the white glow and it won't be representative of what I feel like the armor could do because let me just make the armor set for the chest piece that I made. That looks really cool in my opinion. So this is somewhat what I came up with for the chest piece. Just the difference is the helmet. I used a Celestial Nighthawk instead, but I didn't want to back out. So I just used this helmet instead. So this is like what I came up with for the chest piece. I think it looks really cool. Very cowboy meets like uh, mercenary type of thing. The problem is just the white glow. I don't like the white glow at all. It kind of like takes away from everything else and i actually instead of just putting it in the video i'll just do this instead so that way you guys can see what i'm talking about um so yeah this is the original one that i made and you guys can see from like just not having the glow on it looks way better in my opinion because with with the glow kind of just takes away too much so that's why i'm thinking of waiting until they re release it without without the glow my only problem with that is I don't know if they'll do it within the event or like after the event is done, which is why I'm still thinking about it. The other thing is I'm still working on getting all of the armor from the playlist activities. That being said though, I did find out that you can actually just get it from the, from the uh, engrams that you get from playing the activity. You don't have to get it in gate, like in the actual playlist. You can just go to their respective, for example, I just did this for the warlock which I kind of regret, but I went to Zavala and just spent all the engrams that he had and I ended up getting all the armor that way. So I'm going to do that for Shaxx after this video is done. And then for Titans, you guys will get Gambit, unfortunately, because uh, I got Warlocks for Zavala. So yeah, I'm going to probably get, get all that armor and making videos on that immediately because I do think a lot of the pieces are really cool. That being said, you guys will hear me bitch about it in the review video because it is very similar to another set. So I have a lot of things planned. It's not like I've given up. I will say <clears throat> I have been playing other stuff other than Destiny 2 because I really have not been that keen on playing Destiny 2. Like specifically, I, yeah, the whole like layoffs has kind of like turned me down from playing the game, but it's also just, I'm kind of tired of Destiny 2. I was almost thinking about just killing off my character and going into full-time fashion for other games, but We'll still see. I'm still going to play that one by ear, but for now, we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff. I still have to do the chromatic armor set for the classes, too. I have it. I have all of those videos done. It's just I have to do the voiceover for that. So I have a lot of things planned. I do apologize. This was longer than I intended, but just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what I'm doing, because again, I have not given up on Destiny 2. It's just kind of like a pseudo vacation slash I was working on getting the new event armor. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.